Familie tu joues avec les petits à parler de ta famille. Et les familles. Voilà, on peut les dire, mais si on veut bien parler de la famille, ça va aller. Familia Marafiki Hamjambo. Bwana Sifiwe. E, kwa sababu ya muda na vile mambo ya hivyo kidogo tumechelewa. Hapa ni maombi tu. Alafikisha bwana Alex atatuelekeza vile msafara utaelekea. Lakini kwa hapa ni maombi. Pili. Wakati wa kuona mwili familia watakuwa wa mwisho tutaomba familia ikuwe ya mwisho kabisa na vile vile kama hauna nguvu ya kuona mwili tafadhali pia tungekuomba tuutulie kwa utulivu asante bwana bishop bishop mwanangu wakati ni wako bwana sifiwe anataka kwanza kupeana pole kwa familia kwa wale amba wako hapa na pia marafiki na kwa hiyo yote tukundi tushukuru Mungu kwa sababu mambo yote utendeka kwa wema na we cannot question God majina yangu naitwa Bishop Steve Mwangangi kanisa ni NTG hapa Dika kwa ninasimamia Mount Kenya South diocese na ninataka tu kwa sababu ya interest of time tukapate kuomba ili tukapewe mwelekeo na wale wanatuelekeza kwa maana jambo hili lazima tuweke Mungu mbele tuamini na tuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninakushukuru asubuhi njema ninasema ni asante kwa sababu umetuongoza siku ya leo ulipanga hata kabla ya misingi ya dunia Ulijua na ulielewa tutakuwa mali hapa na wakati huo bwana ninaomba nikiamini ya kwamba kila jambo litatendeka siku ya leo tunaenda bwana kupata mwelekeo na mwongozo kutoka kwako naomba faranja kwa ajili ya familia ninaomba faranja kwa kila mmoja bwana ambaye ninajua mpaka mwili wa Kristo Yesu kila mmoja amepoteza na ni wewe Mungu unaweza kutuelekeza tunakupenda kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wakati wote. Paulo alipokuwa gerezani aliandikia makanisa barua ya kufurahia na ila tuambia kwa kila jambo tufurahie Mungu. Asante kwa maana ninajua utakwenda kutia kila mmoja nguvu hata wale wa minyonge na wale wa dhaifu ukawape nguvu Bwana ili safari hii tukaimalizie pamoja. Tutakuwa na safari ya kutoka hapa kuelekea nyumbani na ikabidi mikononi mwako ninakataa chochote kinaweza kuwa kimepangwa na shetani katika njina la Yesu Kristo tuongoze na ukwe pamoja nasi katika njina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na pia tumeamini amen asante good is good eh imefika wakati ambao sasa tutaangalia mwili ama kuona mwili lakini kabla ya hiyo kwa sababu tutakuwa tukimalizia ningependa kukuta bwana Alex ambaye ni transport manager ili akaweza kutupanga kwa upande wa usafiri wakati tunapo ile kwenye mbali pale tutakapomzika Alex habari zenu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati na Mungu ni mwema hata wakati huu na nafasi ya kusema Mungu ni mwema So nikitaka kupeana mwelekeo bila kitatoka eh tutafikiri mahali tunaenda tunaenda mahali naitwa Metahato Metahato sorry ah lakini nikitaka tuende na mwelekeo tutafuatana ngari yenye itatuongoza tukitoka hapa ni gari yenye itakuwa inachukua vingi yenye itafuatwa na gari ya mwili has alafu wengine tutaifuata so tusikwe na mtu kama gari yenye itakuwa mbele ya video tafuatana na msafara from here it's around uh, 15 to 20 kilometers to our home so kama unajua uko na gari na uko na nafasi tafadhali nione ndio tuweze kusaidiana na kama unajua huna means bado mimi nitakuwa mwisho kutoka hapa so pia tutaoganize tutafafiri so kama mtu atakuwa sasa 
for a year. So my driver way, Tafalari, uh, see you on Bali. It's 15 minutes, I'm a 20 minutes drive. So it's very about people, uh, 14, 40, 40 kilometers in this hour. So, uh, if you have a money, you can get a fast parking for Boma. So, you can get a lot of money. So, but we have a uh, safe and uh, secure parking. So, if you have a lot of money, you can get a lot of money. So, feel free to park your vehicle and it will be safe. Uh, thank you. Fadali kula kitu nime, nime, nime sahau, tutakuwa na stopover, kifika junction ya Lutulo, tutapitia hii barabara ya bypass, so from here, kwa gate, tutachukua live run, eh, kwa roundabout, the first exit, tukiambu, tukifika Lutulo, junction, tafadali, nangia wakana magali, tutakuwa na stopover hapo, so kwa sababu ya lenye, tawaji huko, tuwe tungo jiane, tuende kwa msafara mbote, asante. Okay, thank you so much. Kama video sema hapo awali, tafadhali familia ni utakuwa ya mwisho. So, tutaanza na marafiki, ambao kwenye kabisa, wamekuja kumusidikisha kwa isa bari, dada yetu Alice. Imeo kwa tafadhali, wale ambao mesimama, kama uko na mbubi ya kuweza kuwana mwili, hili kuweza kufungua njia, tuneza hata na nini, kwa utaratibu tutatokea hapa kielekea hivyo na familia itakuwa ya mwisho. Asante.
tunataka kuanza ibada yetu leo tunataka kuuliza kasi moja atuombe ili tuanze ibada Hapana sifiwe eh na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa sababu ni kwanza tunaanza nataka nimkaribishe Reverend Janet ndiye atatufungulia na maombi karibu sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tuombeni Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asante Tualinua jina lako kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na hakuna aliye kama wewe Hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye na uweza kama wewe Jehova Ndiyo maana tumeinamisha vichwa zetu tukisema ni asante kwa yale yote ambayo umetenda kwetu. Maandiko yako yanasema ya kwamba tushukuru katika kila njambo. Kwa sababu wewe Mungu hautendi kosa. Lakini kila wakati unatenda kulingana na mapenzi yako. Mioyo yetu inaweza kuwa imehuzunika, iko na uzito. Lakini tunasema ya kwamba Bwana umetenda mapenzi yako. Kwa sababu ingekuwa mapenzi yako haingetendeka. Kwa hivyo tunakushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na unatenda kama Mungu. Asubuhi ya leo tunapokusanyika mahali hapa kwa ajili ya mpendwa wetu Halis, tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako ili Bwana ututangulie katika kila njambo. Enda nasi mfalme wa ajabu kwa sababu tutakapoenda bila wewe Jehova, hakuna lolote ambalo tutalitenda. Lakini tutakapoenda nawe, tutakapoambatana na uwepo wako Jehova mtakatifu wa watakatifu. Tunajua kwamba chochote ambacho kikombele wetu tutaweza sande kwa safari ambayo umetupatia kutoka pika mpaka mahali hapa jehova tunakushukuru na kulimidi jina lako tunapoanza activities za leo tuachikabidhi mikononi mwako mfalme ili bwana utukufu wako ukadhirike mahali hapa neema yako ikashuke mahali hapa jehova ukafariji mioyo ya watu wako jehova mungu ishimilele na ukawapatie nguvu bwana tutakapoona tamati tutashukuru na kulimidi jina lako Uimidiwe na ubarikiwe ukiwa katika kiti chako cha enzi. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mfalme wa ajabu tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Safari imekuwa mzito kidogo, au sio? Aya, kwa sivi sasa kwa sababu ya muda na wakati tumechelewa kidogo na tumechanganyikana kuna wale ambao kidogo wanaweza pitu na lugha ya hapa nyumbani. Moyai ni moseo. Moyai ni moseo. Mabinda on there. Asante sana. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa tukishirikiana kwa pamoja. Sisi tuko hapa kwa majina yanajulikana kama Charles Kamau. Tutakuwa tu tukiongoza ratiba kulingana na vile mambo yalivyo kwa ile program. So we have started by a word of prayer. Na naona kabisa haswa wale ambao ni wageni topography ama geography ya hii boma mtu yote yangependa kujisaidia ama haja kuna hii boma ambayo unaona iko hapa sisi wote tutaelekea pale so wanaume pia na wanaume nimeelezwa nyuma ya hii hema pia sisi tutakuwa tukisaidika pande ile na pia kwa hii boma kwa hivyo feel free anytime E, kina mami wanadada wote mmeambiwa boma yenu itakuwa ni hapa na upande hii lakini wanaume sana sana ni pande ile nyuma tuko sawa tujipigieni makofi a a makofi ile mzuri moja moja a a si hiyo ile ya moja pili asanti sana so without a uh, Father Ado, nitakuwa niki mkaribisha mchungaji ili yakaweza kutupatia neno lakini kabla hiyo si tunaweza sifu kidogo si ndio Christine uko wapi kidogo tuanze tu kwa pambio moja Christine eh present worship moja tu wakati Christine anapokuja DJ kidogo niweke muziki Atuongoze kwa ile kitu ambayo ataweza. Alikuwa ameniambia kidogo itapita lakini atakuwa pamoja. Aya, thank you DJ. 
Aya, vile vile pia in case unasikia kabisa labda usikii vizuri labda umelemewa kidogo nimeelezo kuna huduma kutoka Kenya Red Cross wako hapa kuhakikisha kwamba mambo yote yako shwari thank you so much christine welcome god is good all the time dada zangu hapa watatuanzishia na praise and worship na pamoja na kanisa watakuja tutaimba pamoja asante Ninaomba tusimame kwa yote tunamsifu Bwana. Kwa mambo ya matenda najua nyoyo zetu sasa hizi ko chini sana. Tuna maswali mengi tunauliza lakini neno la Mungu linasema kwa yote tuendelee kumsifu. Kwa hivyo nataka tuanze na worship na unaomba tu mudi achilie mbele za Mungu. Nimesema mambo ni magumu lakini yote tutampatia Mungu. Ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe tu Ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe ni wewe Bwana Ni wewe Jehova ni wewe Oh haleluya ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe mwanzo tena mwisho wewe tu Bwana ni wewe simba wa yuda ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe haushindwi na lolote ni wewe oh Bwana Ni wewe Bwana ni wewe Simba wa Yuda ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe ni wewe Bwana ni wewe Bwana ni wewe tunakuita ni wewe tu Bwana ni wewe usieshindwa ni wewe bwana ni wewe usie ila ni wewe tu bwana ni wewe tu Hakuna wakufanana na we Hakuna wakufanana na Bwana Hakuna wakufanana na we Wewe ni Bwana Wewe ni Bwana Wewe ni Bwana Hakuna wakufanana Hakuna wakufanana na jire Hakuna wakufanana na we Hakuna wakufanana na yawe Hakuna wakufanana na we Wewe unastahili Wewe unastahili Hakuna wakufanana na we Hakuna wakufanana na wewe Hakuna wakufanana na we Hakuna wakufanana na Bwana Hakuna wakufanana na we Wewe ni baba yetu Wewe unatujari Wewe ni mwana Hakuna wakufanana na we Hakuna wakufanana na yawe Hakuna wakufanana na 
Ujire Santi Mungu wabariki. Tuketi, tuneza kuketi. Uh, we shall be guided by the program na tukiangalia vizuri ni wakati wa kusoma yuolojia ya marehemu dada yetu na tutasomewa na ndugu yetu des ambaye atatuelekeza kwa hicho kipindi. God is good. All the time. I'll read the yuolojia for the late Alice Motei Gathara. Bath. Alice Motei Gathara was a, was a beloved daughter, sister, wife, mother and friend. She was born on July 23, 1990 in Zalai, Kitui County. She was the fourth child of Pastor Joshua Mwandikwa and the late Josephine Kiseki. And second mom, past, and, uh, second mom Pastor Anne Kahema Mwandikwa. Alice was a devoted member of her family and survived by her, her loving parents and the Kahemas. She's also survived by her husband, George Gathara Munjogu, and their four children, Lennox Munjogu, Jess Waithera, Lebron Munjogu, and Ariane Moihaki. Alice was a cherished sister to Joseph Mutuko, Stephen Chalo, 
Desmond Githendu, Agnes Tembea Mwandikwa, and the late Masi Mwande, and Alicia Mumu. She was also a beloved sister-in-law to the late Elizabeth Moihaki, Joseph Ndoa, Boneface Wainaina, Windrose Kasioka, Lazarus Oduor, and Angela Givendo. As a granddaughter, Alice was loved by her grandparents, Mailo Ovio, Agnes Temea Mailo, the late Kilundo Mulango, and Mulei Kilundo. Alice, was also, uh, Alice will also be deeply missed by her in-laws, Samuel Munjogu and uh, Jacinta Waidera Munjogu. She was an aunt to Emmanuel, Annette, Joy, Hope, Sela, Caleb, Sami, Sarah, Jerry, and Valentine. Her aunties and uncles were Beth Munyoki, Juliana Mwendwa, Mwekali Nziaka, Rose Kiango, Janet Oscar, Kavengi Mukonde, Monica Daniel, and the entire Kahama, Kahema's family. She's a cousin to many. Her Christian life, education, and career. Alice was a devoted Christian who served the Lord through her life with the Deliverance Church of Kenya. She was brought up in a family of God-fearing and diligent individuals, and this is evident in her own life as well. Alice received her primary education at Emivea Primary in 1995 before moving on to Despin Academy where she completed her primary KCPE. In 2005, she joined Karoti Girls and completed her secondary KCSE education. She worked at Shrink Park Limited from 2012 to 2019 when she left to venture into business with her husband today. She fell ill on 10th January 2023 after complaining of chest pain. On the 11th January 2023, she, uh, she went to the hospital with her husband where she suddenly collapsed during treatment and passed on. Alice will always be remembered for her radiant smile and infectious laughter. Her humor and kindness touched the lives of all who knew her, of all who knew her, and she'll be deeply missed by her family, friends, and the community. May she rest in peace. Thank you. Eh, wakati huu ni wakati mzuri wa kuachia kanisa, and I'll be very glad to invite Bishop Mwangangi. Hii ni wakati ya kanisa na tutawachia kanisa ichukue nafasi hii hadi wakati ambapo tutamlaza dada yetu. Ah bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumsifu bwana Yesu Kristo. Na wasalimu katika njina la Yesu Kristo. Majina ni Bishop Stephen Mwangangi. Natoka katika kanisa la ATG Deliverance Ministries Paledika Town nikiwa overseer wa Mount Kenya South na ninataka kwanza kuleta pole za kanisa kwa familia kwa sababu ya kuachwa na dada yetu Alice na tunajua ya kwamba kuna unjumbe Alice anatupatia ya kwamba tujiandae kila mmoja Jia ni hiyo. Na mungu akiona tunasahau. Uwa anatukumbusha. Kwa mkutano kama huu. Ili tuendele kunjianda. Kamla sinja endelea nataka ni wakaribishi wa chunganji. Wale ambao. Wako pamoja nami wasimame. At least. Ili mukapate. Kuanjua. Karibu ni sana watumishu wa mungu. Wale tu wako hapa. Na pengine kama kuna mchunganji mwingine. Pande hiyo. Ningeomba tu pande inaona kuna nafasi kama kuna mchungaji wa kanisa lolote kuna priest kuna vika ama anybody so bwana awambariki sana nataka tu awasalimie i love to endelea karibuni bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe amen amina majina ni janet hoska nimeokoka kristo ni bwana ameniokoa na ameniudumisha katika wokofu wake. Ninaudumu katika kanisa la ATG Nikovoi. 
mimi ni anti wa Alice barikiwe Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe tena kwa majina anaitwa Pastor Anne Mwandikwa nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na hudumu katika kanisa la Mount Zion Juja pia na hudumu katika kanisa la Deliverance Church Mwingi barikiwe ni sana pia mimi ndio mama Alice kwa majina ni Pastor Joshua mwandikwa Mailu na hudumu na Deliverance Church mimi ndiye baba wa Hadis. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina yangu ni Reverend Martin, nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Na hudumu na kanisa la Gods Kingdom Seekers tuko pale Saika na Robi. Ah uh, Alice ni kazini yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, majina ni Pastor Onesmas. Na hudumu na kanisa la GVC huko Kanyonyo. God bless you. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Mimi ni Reverend Francis Jikuna Wakago. Uh, kwa boma hizi mimi semeji. Nimekuja mazishi kwa sababu ni ya watu ambaye ni wa karibu sana na mimi. Nina hudumu na kanisa la New Life in Christ Churches na kwetu ni upande wa Kamushege. God bless you so much. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Jina langu naitwa Pastor Haman Mutuko na hudumu na kanisa la Africa in Large Church Kitui. Uh, Alice ni cousin. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana wetu asifiwe. Najua Biblia inatulazimu kumshukuru Mungu kwa kila wakati na kufurahi kwa kila wakati. Sivyo? Wewe hata kama jinsi ilivyo ndivyo ilivyo sifa na utukufu ni kwake bwana maana yeye ndio muumbaji basi mimi naitwa pastor francis na hudumu huko juja kanisa linaitwa mount zion tuna hudumu na mama ali suko pana mama ali suko pastor ann na huko yesu anatenda mazuri bwana wabariki bwana yesu asifiwe majisa ni pastor shem na shiriki na kanisa la mount zion ada Reverend Meli kwa familia Poleni neema na faraja ya Bwana iko juu yenu. E, tuna wachungaji wengine wamefika saa hii na wapa nafasi kwa salimiani. Kwa jina la mimi naitwa Reverend Haman Katutu. Tumetoka sehemu moja na Pastor Joshua na undumu na Kanisa la Deliverance Church International. Bwana asifiwe. Naitwa Reverend Dr. Patrick Mutinda. Nina undumu na kanisa la Deliverance Church kule Ukambani Kitui. Huyu ni mchungaji pamoja nami. Tumekuja kusimama naye. Asante. Jina ni Pastor Matthew nimeokoka na undumu na kanisa la Deliverance Deliverance Church sehemu ya Ukambani Kitui. Ah, na shukuru sana umesikia wachungaji vile wameshikana mkono tumeacha shunguli nyingi tukuje kushikana pamoja na hii familia na hilo njambo lina baraka kwa sababu kama kila mmoja wao amesema ni ya kwamba tunafaa kumshukuru Mungu kwa kila njambo na kitu kimoja nataka ni kuambie kuhusu imbaada hii kwa maana wakati huu tumeambiwa ni wakati wa kanisa hii ni mbaada tunafanya. Hii ni mbaada inafanyika kila wakati na saa zingine kuna message Mungu anakuwa anaileta kwa kila mmoja wetu. Tunakumbushwa tujiandae kwa maana mwanadamu anaishi maisha mawili. Uko na hii maisha ya mwili na kuna maisha ingine ya roho. Wakati unasikia mtu ayuko roho ndio huwa inarudi mali ilitoka lakini sisi tunabaki na mwili na wakati tunaona Alice mwili wake ukiwa hapa tunakumbushwa katika maisha ya rohoni tuendelee kujiandaa na wale watu waamini 
Mungu anatenda jambo ili tukapate kuamini pamoja. Na kwa sababu ya time tumechelewa uniruhusu tu nisome maandiko na wale wameingia saini mesema mimi ni bishop Stephen Mwangangi niko na kanisa la ATNG hapa mjini Thika na pia ni overseer wa area ya Kiambu Kiambu Muranga Mount Kenya kwa hivyo nikiwa hapa niko katika region yangu katika ufanyikazi nitasoma kitabu cha Luka Nitasoma kitabu cha Luka mtakatifu. Mlango wake ni wa sita nitaanza kusoma mstari wa 19. Biblia inasema akasema Palikuwa na mtu tanjiri aliyefaa nguo za rangi za zabarau na kitani safi na kula siku zote kwa anaza. Na maskini mmoja jina lake Lazaro Uwekwa mlangoni pake ana vindonda vingi naye alikuwa akitamani kushibishwa na makombo yaliyoanguka katika meza ya ule tanjiri atamumbwa wakanja wakamramba vindonda vyake ikawa yule masikini alikufa akachukuliwa na malaika mpaka kifuani kwa Ibrahimu yule tanjiri naye akafa akazikwa basi kule kuzimu aliyeinua macho yake alipokuwa katika mateso akamuona Ibrahim kwa mbali na Lazaro kifuani mwake akalia akasema e baba Ibrahim niurumie ni utume Lazaro achovie ncha ya kindole chake majini aimburundishe ulimi wangu kwa sababu ninateswa katika moto huu Ibrahim akasema mwanangu Kumbuka ya kwamba wewe uliyapokea mambo mema yako katika maisha yako na Lazaro vivyo alipata mambaya na sasa yeye yupo hapa anafarinjiwa na wewe ume unaumizwa na zaidi ya hayo kati yetu sisi na nyinyi kumewekwa shimo kubwa ili wale wakao kutoka uku, watakao kutoka huku kwenda kwenu wasiweze wasiweze wala watu wa kwenu wasifuke kuja kwetu akasema basi baba na kuomba umtume nyumbani kwa baba yangu kwa kuwa ninao ndugu watano ili awashuhudie wasinje au pia wakafika mali hapa pa mateso Ibrahim akasema wanao Musa na manambii na wasi wawasisikilize au na wawasikilize au akasema la baba Ibrahim lakini kama ikiwaendea ikiwaendea mtu kutoka kwa wafu watatubu akamwambia wasiposikia Musa na manabii au hata wasikia hata wakifufuka katika wafu baba katika njina la Yesu Kristo Ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya neno lako. Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu, ninakushukuru kwa sababu uko mali hapa. Asante kwa sababu ya ili kongamano ambalo limefika ili kushuhudia kupumzisha mwili wa dada yetu. Ninaomba Bwana ukaseme nasi tuliombaki ili jina lako likazidi na kutukuzwa. Asante kwa masikio ya watu wako kwa maana itasikia neno lako katika njina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na pia tumeamini watu wote waseme amen wale wako kule nyuma tuseme amen unajua pengine kuna mtu angesema amen nzuri lakini hakupata hiyo nafasi kwa hivyo kama umepata hiyo nafasi kumwambia Mungu amina ni kumwambia ikue hivyo nataka tu kwa dakika chache niongelele kitu inaitwa maisha baada ya hii maisha watu wengi hawajaamini 
tukitoka hapa duniani kuna maisha mengine inaendelea na biblia inatuongelesha juu ya maisha ya mtu ameondoka duniani na wale watu wanatamani kunjua kwa sababu wamechoka na maisha watachangaa kwa maana watakutana na maisha mengine pale mbele na hiyo ndiyo inaitwa maisha ya baadaye Biblia inasema katika kinjinji kimoja kama kinjinji iki tumetembea kulikuwa na watu wawili mmoja alikuwa tanjiri mwingine alikuwa masikini na yule tanjiri maandiko inasema alifaa vizuri alikula vizuri lakini masikini alikuwa anaenda katika mlango wa tanjiri kukula pale naye alikuwa pia mgonjwa na vindonda na alitamani hata kushibishwa na makobo iliyokuwa inaanguka kwa meza ya yule tanjiri. Na Biblia inasema wote wawili wakakaa maisha yao lakini kafika mahali wakakufa. Lakini nataka kuongelelea kitu inaitwa kaburi. Kaburi imenishangaza sana kwa maana nimejua ya kwamba nikisoma haya maandiko tunateremshanga watu kaburi lakini watu hawaendaki kaburi moja. Kuna kaburi tofauti. Kwa maana maandiko inasema Lazaro masikini alikufa. Na tuambiwa alizikwa. Tunaambiwa alibebwa. Alinuliwa mpaka kifuani mwa Ibrahimu. Lakini tanjiri tunaambiwa alizikwa. Akaingia mahali panaitwa kuzimu. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha kuna sehemu mbili Watu wanaenda wakiondoka duniani. Kuna watu wanaenda wakati wa Lazaro palikuwa panaitwa kifuani wa Ibrahimu, lakini leo tunapaita parandizo. Mali the righteous dead. Wale walikufa wakiwa ndani ya Kristo, wanaendanga tofauti na mali weekend dead wanaendanga. Na unaniuliza ninajua na muna gani? Biblia inasema Lazaro akakufa na tanjiri akakufa lakini tanjiri aliinua macho na ukisikiliza biblia inasema kuinua macho kumaanisha Lazaro hakuwa amewekwa chini alikuwa mahali pameinuka ukitaka kuona mtu wako mahali panainuka unainuanga macho kwa hivyo inamaanisha mtu ambaye ameokoka na amekufa anapelekwa mahali pameinuka amaito kitu somebody kuna mtu ananisikiliza ndio ujue kuna tofauti tukiondoka huku duniani tanjiri akainua macho na alipoinua macho akaangalia pale juu akaona kifuani kwa mtu anaitwa Ibrahimu kuangalia ni nani amekaa hiyo kifua akakuta ni ule masikini alikuwa anakula kwake na unajua matanjiri wako na tabia moja ya kutumana tumana hata wakikufa wanaanza kwenda kutumana. Anamwambia Ibrahimu mutume kwa maana alikuwa amemzoea kwake. Anasema mutume Lazaro. Achovya kindole. Unasikia vile wanafanyanga? Aingize kindole kwa manji. Akunja aweke kwa ulimi. Sasa Abrahamu akashindwa. Huyu jamaa ametumana akiwa hai, amekufa bado anatumana. Akamwambia wewe duniani ulikunywa manji ya chupa ulikunywa manji ya fridge ulikunywa manji ya dispenser saa hii ndio umekumbuka kuna manji ya kindole akamwambia hata kama inawezekana haiwezekani katikati yetu kuna shimo ili walio kwenu wasikuje kwetu na walio kwetu wasifuke kwenu inamaanisha saa ile hakuna shimo ni saa hii mtu anaweza fuka ile wakati anataka lakini kuna wakati itafika iwe ukitaka kufuka pande ile haiwezekani na ukitaka kukuja kwetu haiwezekani na mimi Mungu amenituma niambie wale wako hai wakati wa kufuka ni saa hii unaweza ukaamua useme pasta badala nitamani kufuka wakati kuna shimo Nifuke wakati huu hakuna shimo. Na Mungu amenituma kwako nikakwambia ni mpada. Tunalia kwa sababu ya halisi, lakini tuko na furaha kwa sababu tuko na impada. 
ya Mungu anatukumbusha kuna mahali watu wakienda hakuna kuchange in destiny destiny yako unaweza ukaamua leo uamue unataka kuzikwa ama unataka kupelekwa mahali Lazaro alipelekwa watu wakikufa kuna mahali the righteous intend go and there is a place where the wicked intend go kwa hivyo ukikufa ukiwa mwenye dhambi kuna mahali unapelekwa ukikufa ukiwa mwenye haki kuna mahali unaenda na ukishafika kuna kuwa na shimo hakuna kuchange mind mind una change saa hii wakati tuko hai wakati unasikia sauti mpaka yule tanjiri akasema si mtume kwa maana alijua kwao watu wao ni kichwa ngumu kuna mtu hata akikufa anajuanga ameacha watu kichwa ngumu bwana asifiwe ambia njirani usikuwe kichwa ngumu Mwangalie mimi sio jirani yako angalia jirani yako mwambie usikuwe kichwa ngumu Huyo tajiri akajua nimeacha my brothers kichwa ngumu Akasema sasa kama mi, kama yangu imeisha mtume huyo Lazaro unajua matajiri wanapenda kutumana sana Mtume arudi duniani Niko na ndugu wengine watano na wanakaa kama mimi Wakikufa watakuja pande hii kwa hivyo mtume awaambie kule niko kumewaka moto. Wambandilike. Hai. Abraham akamwangalia akamwambia sasa wewe ulikula mema. Lazaro aliteseka saa hizi wezi mtume akateseke tena. Huku anavarinjiwa. Akamwambia duniani kuna wachungaji kama hao wote wamewasalimia ambao wako hai wasipo sikiliza hawa wachungaji hata mtu akifufuka kwanza wacha nikuchekeshe saa hii mtu akifufuka hapa hakutambaki mtu hata mimi nitakimbia tuongee ukweli saa hii uende unazikana langata uone kumeinuka kaburi nyingine mtu utangojea nitarudi mbaandae kuuliza alikuwa anataka nini kwa sababu hivyo ndio tumeumbwa sasa Lazaro akiinuka hao ndugu wote watakimbia kwa maana wewe utasema ni pepo ni shetani shetani na kumbe ni kutumwa ametumwa akaambiwa huko duniani kuna kina Musa kuna manambii kuna bishop Stephen na ndio wako hapa duniani amekuja kwako huyo ndio umusikilize usipo musikiliza hata kuinuke mwingine kaburini zote tunapotea kwa maana tunaongopa na hii unjumbe inatuambia nini inatuambia wakati wa kuamua ni sahihi Mungu anapotukumbusha usifanye moyo wako kuwa mgumu And allow me to tell you something God is not a man to lie and God will never change his mind Kile Mungu ameandika ameandika Anasema neno lake amerumba stamp ame seal So it is already sealed it's upon you and me We get the word of God and we live by the word of God. Na nikwambie you have faith. Imani yako unja kwa kusikia na kusikia neno la Mungu. Pengine hii manzishi kuna siku utaulizwa kama uliona askofu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ambaye unajua my daughter mniko na kausiana kamoja nikimwangilia mafuta ya mbisho kalinikataza akaniambia dadi bishop ni watu wako na nywele ya white please usikuwe bishop nikaona akiwa right nikarudi nikakumbuka naye Daudi alimwangilia mafuta akiwa mundo nikarudi nikaenda na hiyo na unajua ukikualify hata ukikataa Mungu akisema ni wewe ni wewe na ndio maana leo umenijua ili nikupatia mbari usinje ukainuliwa mtu alikufa kuongeleshe nikiwa hai Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ini nataka ni kuambie kitu kimoja. Wakati unasikia neno kama hii, unjue ya kwamba tumetulia hivyo kwa sababu kuna mtu ametufungulia njia. Kila mmoja ataenda kwa wakati wake. Lakini huo wakati ukifika, hakutakuwa na kumbadilisha akili. Wakati ni sahi. Kama unaweza fikiria hiyo injili vizuri Uone huyo jamaa vile alikaa maisha mazuri duniani lakini alipoondoka duniani vile aliteseka. Unaweza mimi naambianga Mungu ni kuwe tanjiri na ni kuwe na maisha mazuri. Si ukwe masikini, 
Kama Lazaro, unajua hata yeye Lazaro ni kama alikuwa na madhambi na mzumbua. Lakini Mungu alimsaidia akaokoka kabisa. Kitu nataka ni kuambie ni ya kwamba tukitoka hapa enda ukinjua wakati mtu ameondoka duniani ameteremshwa kwa kaburi hata umuombe maombi ya inangani Wamuzi ni ule alifanya akiwa na wacha nirudie kwa maana kuna watu wapendangi kusikia hivyo nilienda kwa family ingine kuombea nilipomaliza kuombea akaniambia niombe baba yao nikamwambia muita akaniambia kwa kaburini nikwambia itakuwa ngumu lakini kwa sababu mwesema waje tu nitanje jina yake mtosheke lakini ni ngumu ni ngumu ni unjua ni vizuri wachungaji tuambie watu kweli kwa maana hii ukweli ndio tutasimama nayo mbele za Mungu na mimi saa hii kwanza hii mwaka ya 2023 nimeokoka tena sema amen dhambi za 2022 nimeacha nimeambia Yesu nimeokoka tena kwa maana nimeangalia nikaona hata tukinjificha hata tukikana mna ngani tusinje tukanjidanganya hii safari ni ya ukweli nimesikiza hii yolonji vile Alice anjakuwa na munda hospitali pengine alitoka tu akisimile na mzee wake na kuingia hospitali ikafika mwisho hiyo inakuambia kila mtu mpango ni wa Mungu pengine unasema nikingonjeka nikisikia ninaenda ndio nitaokoka alisi yako na hiyo munda lakini na yeye ninamjua alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu kwa hivyo alikuwa amefanya uamuzi wake hata kambla ifike mahali pale hiyo inamaanisha ya kwamba hata vile tulitoka kwa nyumba we are not 100% sure kama tunarudi tunaendesha ngari Nambianga watu hata unaweza kuona ngari imeacha barabara ikuje kutongonga tukiwa huku. Si ni ukweli. Mimi niliona ngari ime lose control. Ikaenda ikangonga nyumba, ikakuta mtu amelala kwa kitanda ikamua. Uko kwa usingizi na ulilala na huko amuka a kunjisikia. Gari ime lose control. Si mnajua huku kuna manyumba zinajengwa kando ya barabara. Gari ikapiga hiyo nyumba, ikaenda kupiga kitanda yule mtu akiwa kitandani ya kuamka tena kutoka hapo tuliandaa mazishi na tukamuzika anja wingonjeka hii ni kumaanisha usingonje useme nikisikia kumeharibika nitafikiria hiyo maneno hiyo maneno fikiria saa bwana asifiwe wazee tuko hapa wazee tufikirie saa ngani wamama saa ngani wanarika watoto Angalia jirani mwambie ni saa hii. Na mwambie kama kuna mahali unataka speed governor uwekwe saa hii na bishop. Uende pole pole. Kuna watu hapa tunafaa kuweka speed governor ndio watusikie. Wazianze kutumania kaburini kama ule tanjiri. Ako kaburini anasema lete manji. Enda waambie mbrada yangu. Uwe akaambiwa kuna jimo. Akuendangu hivyo. Mungu alikupea time ya kwenda ukakataa kwenda. Na ndio maana Mungu amenituma na alitumana leo ukue mali hapa ili nikapate kukuombea na kambla sinjaomba unaweza ukasema mtumishi wa Mungu mi niombe ni mbadilikange na mapema inaruhusiwa but it is the matter of choice unajua katika maumbiri we don't tell you our denomination na atukwambii utoke huku uingie kule Jambo na imani ni kitu kimoja kumwamini Yesu Kristo ambaye ndiye alikufa akazikwa na peke yake ndiye alifufuka kwa ajili yetu Usiamini uwezo wako usiamini pesa yako usiamini watu wenu muamini Kristo Yesu kwa hiyo peke yake I'm telling you your victory will be tied very closely to your faith kwa maana ushindi wa kila mtu funganishangwa na imani aliyo nayo na ndio Yesu aliambia watu imani yako imekuponya na ndio maana leo niko hapa na nimetumwa na Mungu na ninasikia nikiwa na ujasiri kwa maana ninakwambia ya yule niliyemjua yule ambaye ninajua anainua mtu kutoka chini na anampandisha leo mimi ni askofu 
I think miaka ya michuki nilikuwa makanga wa matatu. Leo Mungu amenitoa pale akanipeleka. Lakini furaha si kutolewa na kupelekwa. Furaha ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu nilinjua ukweli na ukweli ukaniweka huru. Na wewe ukinjua ukweli, ukweli utakuweka huru. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nataka unjue hakuna kitu tutafanya tumbadilishe mtu akienda. Lakini sisi tuko hai tunaweza badilika. Na tunaweza kufanya uamuzi. Na ndio maana nimekukaribia hapa ili usiseme alikae aliketi kwa hema. Hatukumuona tulimsikia. Kuna mtu unasema mchungaji ukimalizia omba na mimi. Ukiwa tu umeketi inua mkono, omba tu na mimi. E, nimeona mkono mmoja mwingine. Kuna mwingine? Ama hata hiyo mkono imepotea tena. Ni kama mtu amenjikuna hivi. Okay. Hata kama unanjikuna ukimaanisha we Mungu anajua roho. Simu ni rusu niombe ili tuingie kwa program. Tuamini na tuombe. Baba katika njina la Yesu Kristo. Ninasema ni asante. Ninakushukuru na ninakubariki. Asante kwa sababu ya neno lako. Ninajua nimepanda lile neno na limeanguka katika mchanga mzuri. Litazaa mara 30, mara sitini na mara mia moja. Yeyote amesikia neno ili Bwana naomba asinje akapotea. Hata kama ataenda akilifikiria, wacha likamee katika roho yake. Ninakwenda kufunika watu wako na damu ya Kristo Yesu. Kama vile Mungu wa manjeshi tumekuja kupumzisha mwili wa Alice. Ninajua mali ako amewekwa kifuani mwa Ibrahim. Na nina hakika ya kwamba anawaombea walio mpaki na wao wakapate kushika imani ili wakamalize mwendo salama. Nasi tuliosalia tunaomba Bwana ukatuondolee kila vikwazo, ukatuondolee kila mitego, ukatuondolee vizuizi na jambo lolote ambalo linazuia nguvu zako katika maisha yetu. Ninaomba nikiamini ya kwamba hii safari ya kupumzisha mwili wake itakuwa ni safari ya ushindi. Asante Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwenye nguvu, mwenye uwezo na mwenye mamlaka. Winuliwe na weshimiwe kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na pia tumeamini. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah tukimaliza tupeane kwa speech. Kuna watu walikuwa na wimbo. Alafu kwa maana ni wakati wa kanisa nataka hiyo wimbo tu sahi. Lakini upande wa ushunda ushunda huko baadaye. Kuna mahali wamewekewa ushunda. Nasikiliza kwa nini ninawapatia rusa. Nikiumbiri sahi nilikuwa ninaumbiri hii stayari hapa kuna madhambao ya Mungu na ndio maana unasikianga kanisa inapewa nafasi unajua ukitaka kujua mchungaji ni wa maana ni wakati kama huu utakuta mchungaji anaumbiri kanda ya barabara unaonogorokire unasema huyo amekwenda kichaa lakini saa kama hii mchungaji anakuwa mtu wa maana na kila mchungaji mahali anaenda anainuanga madhambao bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo nataka nitafutiwe mahali tutoe sandaka wakati tunabarikiwa na wimbo. Sijui nani ananipea kikapu. Tafadhali. Na kitu kimoja nataka ufa, ufanye sahi. Ni uelewe ya kwamba pengine Alice angeamuka hapa apa, apewe nafasi ingine ya kutumikia Mungu. Angetoa mali yake yo. Lakini ana hiyo nafasi. Wewe uko na hiyo nafasi. Unaweza tu ukasema kama mimi Mungu amenipea nafasi hata hii kidogo nitamtumikia nayo unajua utajua mambo inaharibikanga ukiwa very late utakaa na bibi yako ukimuita mjinga mjinga ile siku atakuacha tunaona bado unamulilia sasa hiyo ndio umeanza kujua ni muzu ni mzuri lakini sasa ile alikuwa hai au kumuona ninasema nini kuna watu wanasema wakifufuka leo Watatoa, watatolea Mungu kila kitu kwa maana wamekuja kungudua lakini ni sisi tuko hai tuko na hiyo nafasi kwa hivyo nataka kila mtu utaingia kwa mfuko wako tukimbarikiwa na wimbo ulete sandaka ukishaleta sandaka urudi kwa kiti alafu wakimaliza kuimba niombe ni mbariki 
na kutoka hapo tuendelee ili tupumzishe dada yetu nataka mutatembea nitawapea kazi mutatembea kwa hivyo hautaamka tayarisha sandaka yako na kama iko kwa simu useme siku hizi tulirahisishwa mambo usikaze kusema ati si kutoa kwa sababu ilikuwa kwa simu covid ndio ilitufunza hiyo maneno si mimi si ni ukweli si tulivingua kwa nyumba na covid na si tulitoa kanisa siliendelea na njoo unioni vizuri utaniona vizuri tu nataka tukimaliza kutoa ndio sasa mulete hizo sandaka nisiombe asante sana wapatie namba kuna watu wanaweza tamani Haya kwa wale ambao ni Mpesa Kuna nambari nitasoma 0722698733 Narudia 0722698733 Aria mataraigua Rodio Mirou kefogo mugwaja igire igire idadato keda inyanya mugwaja idato idato kwa kikamba mchungaji ba bishop unanisaidia eh wanajua pa Kiswahili aniyo umesikia 07 eh mbili sita tisa nane saba tatu tatu zilo muonza ile ile dhanda tu kenda nyanya muonza itatu itatu karibuni sana asante sana askofu ni naita waimbaji ndo ala mmete kanisa ni wa pastor joshua ala mmete nzalae Tuiba ati ya iwadhi uwena pasta ama ntui na chorus. Ok. Na mnyoki ni iwe. Na mnyoka ame tu kitu wane wenda teka mbudu wa ume. Ok. Iba hai nyonde. Na mnyoki uyuko sembete. Iyo maneno yote na wambia wara kishange. Hapa mambo inaenda mbio mbio. Wa mnyoki ni iwe tuetele. Ok. 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 Iba hana metuki na timu ila tukie na yo. Na mnyoki itu tongo esi ya. Ni tui na chorus. Na muke kasanga wethi ya ni mwatu ikane samu noni kanatu ika kose program ya skof. Nundu watu nengele mwanya ni wakanisa. Tui ni wadhi wa wangai. Naomba tukasimame. Makofi kwa Yesu. Haleluya, tumwambie Bwana asante. Sun. 
Amen. Amen. Mungu wa mbariki munaweza kuketi. Thank you. Asanti. E, nafikiria tutaingia katika ratiba ambayo kweli kabisa tutakuwa na watu wanatuimbiza ama kutuongoza na Okay. Nataka tuombe kwa ajili ya sandaka ili tuendelee na ratiba. Tuamini na tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asante. Nina imani ya kutosha ya kwamba imbaada imekamilika. Mahali kuani amesimama na akainua madhabahu. Watu wawe wana furaha, watu wawe na uzuni. Madhabahu ya Bwana inaachwa ikiongea. Nami ninabarikisha matoleo ya watumishi wako. Mungu wa mbinguni ukambariki kazi ya mikono yao. Wambariki wakitoka na wakirudi. Wambariki mashambani na mujini. Wale wangonjo wakapokea uponyaji. Wale wako na kilio bwana ukawapanguze machozi. Ninajua awata njuta ni kwa nini walikuja hapa. Bali watasema ya kwamba kuna maombi iliombwa familia zao zikapona. Kuna familia hata naona zifunjika. Baba ninaomba ukasisimamishe tena na ukawapatie nafasi ya kukuishia. Asante kwa maana umetenda. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na pia tumeamini. Bwana wabariki sana. Thank you so much. Eh, Alice alikuwa na kijana yake mmoja ambaye yako na talent ya uimbaji na angependa kidogo kutupatia wimbo mmoja wapi Lennox. Um. It's it's not easy. But it's something we have to go through. <sighs> yeah. But I heard the words a secret chord The day we played it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music do ya? Well, it goes like this: the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. The powerful king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Strong, but you need it proof You saw her bathing on the roof Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew yeah. She tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair And from your lips she drew the hair Hallelujah, 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 Yes. 
think that's it for today. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Hiyo makofi sio mzuri. Pigeni huko kijana makofi vizuri. Si yako sawa? Na kuna kipawa, si ndio? Eh kidogo sijui vile itakuwa kwa sababu mitambo pale jua, stima kidogo ndio inaleta itilafu. Kwa hivyo mtamsamehea the technician ambaye yako pale kwa sababu jua imefika ikamfikia. Eh kuna watu ambao wanatafuta angalau kidogo mavuli mwavuli iwache ku hit that's the reason why kidogo imekata kwa hivyo mtaweza kutusamehea kidogo umetusamehea tumetusamehea asante eh, pia nimeelezwa kuna mama anajita wa karuga wa karuga pia kuna wimbo ameomba bishop ampatie nafasi ya moja na baada ya wa karuga kwa sababu ya muda na wakati na tumechelewa na program tutaenda kwa tributes na speeches na tribute ya kwanza itakuwa ni ya George Gadara Monjogu na nitakuwa nikielekezwa vile mambo itakuwa hapo. So akaroga huko umejipaga. Bishop amesema ni sasa. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo pia akaroga jipange sasa. Uko sawa? Uko tayari? <laughs> Wakiendelea E, ningependa kuwakumbusha wale ambao kidogo wamechelewa for those who have just come ama arrived sehemu ya kujisaidia tumetenga kwa kina mama ni kwenye hii boma on my immediate right na vile vile pia kuna hii boma hapa kuna waelekezi ambao watawaelekeza na wanaume tafadhali wote tumeombwa pia nyuma ya hii hema kuna sehemu kwa hivyo feel free na mambo yatakuwa sawa Uwe tayari? Haya, asante. Habari zenu? Bwana asifiwe. Najua hapa kwetu tume, tumezoea kusema muliega. Ya. Yeah. Lakini leo Mungu amewaleta. Ndio tuseme nini? Muliaze. Ah, good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nampenda Yesu kwa sababu ya kunioa kwa mimi ni mwibaji. Ube nimeimba na ile lugha ya hapa. Lakini si mnaelewa kidogo? Eh. Hey. Naya, kwa hivyo nitaimba wimbo ni wafariji familia. Yes. Niweke wimbo. Najua mtel mtashika. Mta kwa nini imeenda? Haya kitambua tengeneze. Siupiga makofi hivi. Tuimba ile unajua kabla watengeneze. Chako tumaini sina. Sawa, wimbo imekuja. Sasa tuanzie. Sawa. Kika makofi kidogo. Tukaa tuhore roho 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 hapo huko. Sauti kidogo.
Amesema tutikuwe nyitake eh, Si wakati Sayote kuna mambo kama haya Sayote ni huzuni huzuni Sazingine mungu kuja kusifu jina lake Eo siyo eh, Nama kujithihirisha Hata mimi naeza jaribu kumbiri <laughs> Santi Haya eh, Without further ado Kwa sababu ya muda na, na kuzidi kukua kumbusha Kwamba Wemefiko wakati wa speeches Na vile vile tributes na tribute ya kwanza ni ya bwana ya Alice ambaye ni George Mnjogu Gadhara na nimeombwa itasomwa na kijana wake wa kwanza ambaye ni Lennox ambaye pia vile vile yako na talanta ya kuimba si ndio ya wakaroga kidogo amepotea akasema sisi tunajua kuimba lakini ni kuimba si ndio <laughs> kuimba asanti haya Lennox atakuwa kisoma tribute ya baba yake na atasoma kwa Lennox ndiye atasoma kwa ni baba yake Praise God um, I'm here behalf for my dad and I hope I deliver it as he would have My dearest Alice you are the light of my life and the beat in my heart from the moment we met, I knew that you were the one for me. You were my soulmate, my confidant, and my everything. I am 
so grateful for the 12 years we shared together as husband and wife and for the beautiful memories we created. You are the mother of my children and the rock that held our family together. Your love and affection was the warmth that surrounded us all. I will treasure the moments we shared, the laughter, the tears, the joys and the sorrow. I am deeply saddened by your passing. But I know that your love will continue to guide me and comfort me throughout my days. You will always be my heart, my sweet wife. Rest in peace and know that you are forever loved and missed. Um, uh, I remember back at home, we used to sit in the dinner table, all of us together. And my dad would, he would call her Ellie. And we used to play a game, a game we all enjoyed. And <laughs> my dad would find a way to cheat, to win. <laughs> Somehow we never knew how, but he always did. And her, as always, she would come and beat him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that was the best moment of us because we made the worst moments work and we made the best remembered. And dad, we have your back. Say something. Uh, my name is Samuel. Uh, his favorite cousin. I remember to go home, Koalis, and to go to Chesa Kadi, Poka. So the game will be made for when I may say, I may propose the game, Rona Shinda Pikiak. Like Ukim Shinda, the rules change. Another Kata, another Kusman, yeah, machine. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alice, do Alice, you come wherever you come to Shinda. She was smart, actually. Yeah, come to Shinda and I But it's fine too. It's okay. To come here, Bardo. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Makofi. So the next tribute will come from my uh, mom's tribute. And it will be read by Sheila Wanchiko. Tribute ambayo inafuata ni ya mama. Ya Alice na itasomwa na Sheila Wanchiko. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this is a tribute from uh, her mom, who is Anne Mwandikwan, who is also my sister. I thank God for placing such a beautiful child in my life. God is the creator of all and the giver of life. He does not require, require our advice on what to create or not to create. What time someone will live or not. Our God is above all. He created and knitted Alice in her mother's womb knowing the time of her entry into this world and her exit. Though her demise is painful, we cannot question God, for she was his creation and has every right on her. All I can say is, thank you, Lord, for the time you gave her to us. May the Lord rest her soul in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I stand guided. Na kwa sababu hii bada ni ya kanisa, bishop kuna mambo wame nieleza, ili tuweze kuwakua muda. So, photography, tukisoma tribute, na tunapiga picha pale. So, nitarudi kidogo nyuma, eh, ya 
the husband to Alice tafadhali tumeombwa na tupigwe picha wakati tunasoma tribute tunapiga picha so that we save time ndio eh Minuel DJ unaweza fanya ile kazi ilikuleta Aya I don't know unahitaji viti Wasimame wasimame Watoi Watoi Lennox Jess Pande gani Waende pande ile Okay Boni Anime Fanisho Sheila mama ataweza kufika the next picture mom eh, she needs to be assisted Ndio una changanya changanya kidogo Baada ya hiyo ya mam tribute ambayo itafuata ni ya ni ya dad Asante asante thank you so much Pole pole tu Baada hiyo ya mam kuna brothers tribute ambayo itasomwa na Joseph Mutuko jitayarishe utakuwa hapa Joseph Mutuko brothers tribute e, na ya sisters tribute Agnes Temea Esther Mwangi pia utakuwa kujitayarisha Maliza muna ni alert. We are good. Thank you. I am Ze. Na kuomba tribute yako. Nimeambiwa wewe yako ilikuwa inatoka kwa roho. Na moyo na kinywa chako. So ni wakati wako hapa. Ah hapo hapo. Ah thank you. So tribute ya Ze. Mine is very brief. Uh Alice is my daughter and uh, One day a preacher was preaching in church when she was in standard 2 and amazingly he called those who want to be number one in their classes and when Alice went in front to be prayed for with the rest I never knew whether she understood what she meant on that day to from class 2 up to class 4 in class 4 she became number one God did it and number one. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, 
Mbaya, thank you sana. Pigieni mzema kofi. Uh, brothers tribute Joseph Mutuko kwa pande gani? Joseph Mutuko. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. I'm Joseph Mutuku, the firstborn in Alice's family. Uh, our sister, we greatly miss you. We will never forget your commitment to each one of us. You are always there for us when, uh, whenever we needed you. We will remember your jovial mood, in, your jovial mood the inability to be offended, and the ability to smile no matter the situation. God bless you. Aya, hiyo ni picha yako. Brothers. Brothers, wako wapi? Picha ya brothers. Brothers wa Alice. Santi, mkimaliza muna nieleza tu You just alert me Okay Those are the brothers to Alice Shukran uh, The next tribute will come from uh, Agnes Temet This is the sister to Alice And on behalf of uh, Agnes Temea Esther Mungai eh, Karibu wanipige hapa eh, Missy Esther Mwagi Aya, Esther Mungai. Thank you. On behalf of Agnes Temea, I'm reading her tribute. I've been with you for over three decades and there's no single day that you have ever given me a sign of living. You have been my supporter, cheerleader, and always celebrating me with me and always celebrating me and with me throughout of my life. It pains me to know that I will never see you again. We will never go shopping together, never have sleepovers as we chat about anything and everything. We had big dreams and plans for our future, but you didn't live to see us accomplish some. My dearest sister, I still replay our last conversation in my mind, trying to see if I'm at Point, at, um, at any point you are preparing me for your demise. You have left me so soon. Who is going to fill this hole that you have left in my life? I remember on 1st January, together with my children, requested you to make some chapels for us. You cooked them with so much joy and love to an extent that you were turned out to be very sweet. I told you that moving forward, You'll be cooking for me whenever I have many visitors. You jumped with lots of joy since me, since me as your teacher had approved your cooking. How could I know that was the, that was to be our last meal together? Your love for us will forever remain in our hearts. I will never forget the way you came through for me in, and any other person who needed your help. I will let you sleep well, my sis. It's painful, but I will accept God's will and hope someday we will meet again. Picture uh, Agnes, the sister to Alice. As we move on swiftly, kuna marafiki, imelezo walikuwa nafanya kazi pamoja. I'm sorry. Friends tribute that will be read by Faith Kimani. So Faith will be next. Asante sana. Thank you for that picture. Now Marafiki immediately Faith and Memaliza to end the palette to be good picture.
praise God. My name is Faith Kimani and Alice was my best friend. She took me a lot of things that I just can't believe that she's gone. So I'm going to read, to read the tribute of friends on behalf. I know we are so many. You are such a caring, loving, and God-fearing friend. You are inspiration. You are you are inspiring in life. As friend, you took us in your life just the way we are. It is just so hard for us to believe that you're gone so soon. You will forever remain in our hearts till we meet again. Thank you. Marifika na Marifika Alice, tafadhali pichano. Eh DJ kidogo kwa mziki tu. Picha ya marafiki. Wale walifanya kazi naye. Faith, hauko na marafiki? Hao wengine wako wapi? Oh, tafadhali. Kama tuko wengi Wapiga picha tafadhali director za how to do it okay Hao ni marafiki ambao kibiashara wamekuwa kufanya pamoja eh, picha inaweza pangwa pale pole pole marafiki walikuwa wengi na asanteni kwa kuja wakati hiyo picha inapoendelea Nafikiria tumefanya ya brothers and sisters Asanti Thank you so much Marafiki na kwa kutushikilia kwa hii safari eh, Parents eh, nimeona upande ya maternal kidogo imesomo na shile na baba akaongea Parents in law Mzae Upande ya Kwa sababu ya muda tutakot kiendelea So Brothers and sisters Washa afanya Brothers and sisters in law Wamefanya Dua Mbakubali Sawa Eh, oh mzee umefika. <laughs> ah, sawa, wacha tuanze na mzee kwa sababu ya umri, then tutatoka kwako. Eh, uko na jambo la kusema. Naomba tu ufike tu hapa. Usalimie watu. Thank you so much. Kidogo tu kwa sababu mitambo unajua vile imetufikisha kwa sababu ya feedback. Uh, God is good all the time. Kwa majina naitwa Samuel Munjogu. Mimi ndiyo baba ya gadhara. Na huyu msichana huyu amelala nilikuwa nimempenda sana kama mtoto yangu. Lakini ameenda. Ah uh, yangu ni kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa vile mmekuja na Yaani hakuna hakuna mengi ya kusema asanteni. Uh, that is the tribute uh, ya Guka ya kina Lennox na baba ya Alice. So the next tribute will come from uh, Dua. Haya. 
tutaenda vile mambo yanavyoenda Sijui kwa marafiki hapa niko na maanko na maanti wa pande zote mbili natafutiwa majina natafutiwa majina tafadhali kwa sababu I need to understand when this was being made kidogo kidogo kuna wale wako wame confirm watafika so I'm here to get their names lakini for now marafiki wa Alice najua hamwezi kuna tribute mmesoma lakini nikitarishio maanko kuna mtu ataongea kitu mtosheka you good haya class karoti girls nasikia wako hapa they want to say something wale wasichana walisoma na Alice karoti girls where are you mkoiria these are uh, friends schoolmates that used to school with Alice pale Kirinyaga county karoti girls we have something to say but meanwhile my dj Haleluya. Ah. Uh, Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zake. Ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya maisha ya Alice. In fact, tumekaa na Alice sana. Nikimlea nikimfunza kuwasha moto mpaka ananiambia anti mimi sijui kuwasha moto na kiberiti sasa nashindwa ile tutawasha bila kiberiti ni gani lakini kwa hayo yote she came to our family as a flower and she flourished as a flower na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ameona tu wakati tukae naye tumfurahie na tufike tu hapo. Kwa hivyo we loved her so much and I know God loved her and may she rest in peace. And the angels that she has left behind may the Lord take care of them. God bless you. Amen. Usikose kupita. Hao ni maanti. Baada ya maanti kuna picha moja pia imesaulika ya inlo inlo zwa George upande mkiwa na hao so kuna picha ya George na your inlos from Ali side ningetaka hiyo picha ichukuliwe saa hii baada ya hapo inlos mandugu wa George na wake zao hiyo picha inafuata So inlaws wakina gi nani inlaws wote inlaws ambao wako hapo wapigwa pamoja na George upande ya Alice Oh ama sawa my brother Alice wapi wapi hao wengine wote sister brother agi kama ha kidogo utaweza thank you so much kidogo baada ya hiyo picha tafadhali upande upande ya kina George 
ndua watoto wenu your wife Jerry wote mtakuwa mkifika hapa kwa ipicha boni ka stand by na family yako kila mtu George utabakia hapo for the next picture DJ Dua naona anapiga picha kuna kuna tribute ya cousins nilikuwa naomba kusoma kwanza eh Alice was a, a one of our good cousins and here we have a tribute our tribute to her even though you are you are gone your love will always be here to stay you touched our hearts with so many things god knew you were the one to save He took you home to get rest. Even though we loved you best, our hearts are filled with so much pain. God loved you more. There was no shame. At this time, we must let go. Your, your memories will keep flow. Rest, rest our dear cousin. With peace of mind, your memories will live on through. Thank you so much.
Omau ndo huyu amefika general pande hii mbele gaidi mtafadhali Omau Omau na shosho wa Agnes Omau wa Alice yes Omau eh Omau wa Alice ndo hao Mau wacha kidogo pole pole asanteni kwa kuja thank you for coming aya smile tumeambia sio kila kitu uzuni Kimaliza unainua tu mkono. Asante Omao na Shosho, mnaweza rudi kuketi. Haya upande ya George. Omao, Shosho na Buka. Upande ya George. Shosho na Buka upande ya Dadara. Eh, des nisaidie waelewe. na mtu asichukue kiti ya umau tafadhali aguka na soso mwana wa gadhara leno sana nataka simu oh ambia baba hapo leno sana nataka simu
another time eh, majina ni Bernard Mujogu Waderi we are in Gedugori sub county Gewaru location and this is Kimade sub location na tunapenda wageni we normally say there is time for everything siku ya leo ni kupatia Alice heshima yake na wakati unafika tunasema the will be done sababu tukianza kumuuliza Mungu maswali tutajipata kwa laana yeye ndiye mwenye dunia na sisi wote ni mali yake hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza sema ati yeye ataishi duniani imirele leo ni siku ya Alice kesho yake atujui ni nani we normally say tupatane jioni hata wakati ali alitoka nyumbani na mda aliwaaga wenzake tupatane jio lakini jioni haikufika inatufundisha let us all be ready any time any minute unaweza enda tumehubiliwa na yeye hawezi akasikia sasa ni wakati wako we uko hai ujiulize maswali kama Mungu ageegea wakati kama huu are you ready na kama you are not ready ujitayarise sababu wakati unaja tutoke huko kuna mambo yale ambayo ni national like now tunaadikisha wakulima fertilizer that is a national exercise to everybody this a pro, uh, presidential order kwa wale ambao ni wa area hii na kule kwingine na hawajajiadikisha ili uwe unanua the subsidy first rise ukitumia simu yako ya rununu today is the last day tunajua especially since we are going to be the 11th hour na mkija the 11th hour mtakuwa wengi such that sitaweza kumweka kwa ile gadget sababu na just a form alafu namweka kwa gadget ili iwe ni <coughs> ni biometric hiyo ingine tujue pale popote tupo covid bado haijaisha iko na die tunahimisha watu wale bado hawajadungwa wadungwe na ni free of charge the other thing korera iko serikali imefanya kazi yake hiyo ingine ni yako maisha ni ya ni yako ujichunge ujichunge kula ofyo ofyo chunga tunaelewana kwa wale wote wageni wetu wakati wa kuenda ukifika muende salama na Mungu amulinde asante sana thank you watu makofi ya chief adwa uko na moigwa watu kama ugeko ya tengera watu ka so chief amewaomba tafadhali ako kupeke yake kwa ofisi na anachukua biometric na lazima ajaze form. Tiga ekonomia shifo. Na umudhiri kwa mudhenya wa mwisho. Kogo chief ame update na tuko sawa sawa. Eh onekana program inaendelea vizuri na pali imefika kwa sababu pali tunaenda kumlaza dada yetu ni tofauti na hapa mahali tupo ni huko pali tuliingilia nitamuita ambaye atarudisha shukrani kwa niaba ya familia zote mbili bwana Kameru arudishe vote of thanks kwa sababu watu wengine wakifika huko mwingine ni milango tu utasikia tu milango bu, 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 bu. so bwana Kameru atarudisha vote of thanks kwa niaba ya familia zote na baada ya kurudisha vote of thanks nitamwalika nitamwalika bwana Alex anieleze vile mambo ratiba ya hapa itakuwa in terms of vile kutakuwa baada ya hapo tunarudishia kanisa paka kumaliza ni sawa situko sawa tunaenda vizuri thank you so much so bwana Kamweru mzee Kamweru oh sorry oh asante sana karibu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati
Asanteni ya. Leo ni siku si ya kusema mengi sababu yangu tu nimepewa ni ya kurudisha asante. Na sababu wengine we, we giwetu hapa wengine hawawezi kuelewa hii lugha nitakuwa nasanganya lugha zote mbili ya Kiswahili na Kikuyu kidogo sababu tuko na wakongwe kidogo na pengine wangelitaka kujua eh, vile mambo inaendelea bere ni kushokeria gaigado sababu Mungu ndiye amefanya hii siku kwa hivyo shukran ya kwanza ni kwa Mungu pekee Mungu muuba eh, kuanzia asubuhi Mungu ndiye aliuba hii siku ya leo akatupatia nafasi ya kuona mwanga wa leo. Pengine hawajaona lakini sisi tumebahatika kupata mwanga wa leo. Tumshukuru Mungu kwa hiyo yote. Eh, ile ingine ningetaka kurudisia asante sana 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 kanisa sababu kanisa imefanya kazi mingi sababu hata huyu Aris mimi nasikia amelelewa katika kanisa si zote tumelelewa katika kanisa kwa hivyo kanisa ni mama na baba wa kila mtu kwa hivyo shukran za kwanza ni kwa kanisa na hasa kwa bishop asante kwa mahubiri yako neno umenena tuko na masikio kila mtu amesikia maneno yale umetaja na sisi kazi yetu ni kuti na kufuata kwa hivyo tutafuatilia mahubiri na maneno yale yote umetaja siku ya leo eh shukran zira zingine nigelitaka sifikie committees tumesikia committees zilikuwa baribari sababu zote tulikuwa tumetoka baribari kuna ile imetoka kule upande wa kitui kwa mzee baba Aris kuna ile nimesikia imetoka iko pande ya Juja na Robi na sana sana eh shukran hiyo nigeritaka ifikie kila mtu kila mtu ile amechagia kwa maobi kwa eh, kwa, kwa hera zile pengine amesaidia kwa fedha E, na hata kusaidia kwa mawaidha sana sana wakati kama huu watu wakipako na mambo kama hayo mawaidha inatakana kutoka pande zote sababu hakuna mtu anaweza kufanya hii maneno hata familia bila watu e, wengine kuwasaidia kwa hivyo komiti zote mchue, 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 As, eh, shukran zetu iko wengine iko na support groups support groups ziko na jia mingi iko na wengine wamesaidia kwa upande wa magari zile tumetumia tangu asubuhi wakati tulienda kuchukua mwili kule mochari na kuleta mwili hapa kuna wengine walikuwa wamesaidia kusafirisha watu ili waweze kufika katika hii kikao. Eh, kwa hivyo hata hao wapokee shukrani zetu. Wale wamesaidia na jia hii ama ile ingine pengine siwezi kuweza kutaja zote. Kila mtu ajisikie tume eh, tumepatia shukrani sana. Eh, there are other special pengine Uh, shukrani na sana sana hii nigelitaka iende kwa semeji wetu uh, zetu upade wa Aris sisi tunajua hii ni siku iko na ugumu mwingi lakini shukrani zetu tugelitaka mpokee kutoka kwa roho zetu sababu mlitupatia huu msichana na roho zenu na kwa jia zote na mmetusaidia hata wakati hii maneno ilitokea 
muliweza kuwasiliana na familia hii yetu na hii mambo ikaanza kurorova na hakuna shida yoyote tumepata sababu nyinyi hii maneno mlipokea na mkaipokea kwa jia safi na kwa hivyo ndio umeona hata siku ya leo ndio mnaona e, guvu za Mungu zimeonekana na ndio mnaona paka hapa tumefikisha maneno ni kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kwa hivyo shukran zetu ni kwa semeji zetu sababu nyi ndio mmefanya hii maneno ifanyike na Mungu aonekane Asante sana. Eh ile ingine nikalitaka kutaja kidogo ni wale madaktari walikuwa na shughulikia hii maneno sababu pia walichagia mambo yao. Wakati alirazo hospitali iko wale madaktari walihusika. Mi nasikia walijaribu vile wageweza lakini kwa mapenzi ya Mungu sababu Mungu aki akisema hakuna mtu anaweza pidua e, e, alifanyika vile ilifanyika na ni mzuri hata sisi tukubali kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu e, ile ingine shukrani nikaitaka kwa hivyo wale wanaweza fikisha hizo shukrani kwa madaktari tafadhali ningemuomba mufikishe e, ile ingine nikaitaka Shukrani wale watu ningetaka hivi afikie ni watu wa kijiji hii yetu. Hii kijiji wakati walisikia hii maneno walishika na wakaanza kufanya vile inatakiwa. Walikuwa na kuja hapa kufariji familia kila siku. Na wamefanya kazi mingi sana ya kusaidia familia. Kwa hivyo hata sisi msikie pia shukrani zetu simfikie watu wa kijiji hii draiga atiriri adwa itora rere ni murutita wira mwega muno makiri ya muno todo higore odo wa mukinyirire ni mohotire ko nyita na muke nyita no ritu moige na ni murutita wira moige wa kohota gutaithereria mifango wana maudu maria mage ona gutaithereria na gutaithereria family na jira iria tia maudu maria marede kana woko ele anajira kuerutera na besha na na maudu mara mage ona ngalirie chiumete guko igathie kinya moshare na hota guthie kugira mwire na makamure makaure guko na kinya giona riu no turathi na mbere na ni marutite wira munene muno ninge kuri anake ari aturahuthirire guko no ndo akuhaliria eh hari atuguthi kuhurukia mwire ne ike shoki ya gado muno sia mwanya ni ndo wana kiasho ni ndo akwerutira na kurutaira mwega na bira uroneka muthia giona mbere na gwika uguo na ngai nake no guthi na mbere na kumurathima leu ne ike shoki ya gado sia mwanya nikelitaka kurudisha asante eh gine kwa master eh, mc mc yako wapi mimi naona kama simuoni lakini amenipatia hii hii gadget ya kuogea sijui akaona pengine niko na mengi ya kaondoka kidogo lakini hata yeye ningemesema shukran kubwa ah alikuwa ame alikuwa hapa karibu na mimi kwa hivyo shukran hizo ni zako kwa ile kazi nzuri umefanya na Mungu waendelee kupatia hata nguvu ya kusaidia kazi kama hizi asante sana e, sasa ya mwisho ni kwa wale pengine e, sikutaja unajua kila mtu amesaidia na jia hii na ile ingine lakini hauwezi kutaja each and every item pengine mtu amehusika kwa kuchagia katika mpagrio na ha, hi, maneno ya hii eh, hi mazishi kwa hivyo hata nyinyi mpokee shukran zetu sababu hata nyinyi mmechagia asante sana na kwa majina nisikia kama uliita Kameru Kameru basi kwa majina anaitwa Christopher Kameru Mujogu hapa ni nyumbani msikie mko nyumbani kila mtu ule ako katika katika hiki kao 
asikie amepokelewa kwa hii boma kwa hivyo sasa sababu mimi ni mmoja wa hii boma naitwa Christopher Kamweru Mujogu huyo Mujogu <laughs> ndiye mwenye kusaa sisi kwa hivyo eh, muko katika hii boma msikie muko in the right place right time na mmepokelewa na familia kwa jumla asante sana Kwa makofi wa mzee Kamweru. Pia ningependa kurudishia shukurani wale ambao mtu alichukua gari yake na akasema kuja ingia kwa hii gari twende mazishi pamoja, si ndio? Mtu wote alitumia gari yake na akasema tu tukiwa pale moja niliona wengine walisema sina mtu, tafadhali nipatie watu wawili watatu. Pia mimi nimerudishia shukurani ni vile amkutajo directly but tumesema ni asante. Eh uh, tumefika wakati wa kwenda pale chini na hii nafasi pia ni ya kanisa lakini kuna jamaa mmoja kwa niaba ya familia pia atatuelekeza na ratiba anaitwa bwana Alex kuna hiyo sehemu ameniambia baada ya pale kuna vile tu mnaombwa pia mtarudi hapa so hako na maneno mengi machache tu kidogo tu atatueleza okay ningetaka kupatiana E, vile tutaenda kutoka hapa e, tutaenda kupumzisha mwili pale karibu na mahali tuliingilia lakini tutaisaidiwa na has so the immediate family members tutasaidiana then tukifika hapo tutabeba paka mahali kuna grave site so kutoka hapa tafadhali naomba msiende chakula ni mingi ya kila mtu so tukitoka hapo tukimaliza ujue mazishi sasa ni kurudisha mchanga kwa hivyo sasa hii ndio mazishi inaanza tukitoka hapo tutarudi Alafu utakuja kama tunachukua chakula, tutakuwa tayari hapa karibu na boma kwa gate. Alafu tutarudi tukae chini. Kwa hivyo tafadhali msiende uh, chakula ni mingi. Asante. So wakati kwa yuology pale kuna wimbo cha kutumaini sina. Wakati mwili tunaingiza ndani ya has Christine my favorite the chosen one. Cha kutumaini sina utanisaidia haya thank you tutaimba cha kutumaini sina iko kwa um program chakutumainzina ila damu yake bwana sina wema wa kutosha dambi zangu kuzi oh chakutumainzina ila damu yake bwana sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kunio sha kwa kege sunasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama Diye mwamba ni salama Jia yangu iwe ndefu Yeye huni pawoko
na Yesu asifiwe Amen. Huu ndio wakati wa manzishi kile ambacho kilikuwa kimetuleta Kwa hivyo ninaomba eh, kwa wale ambao wanaingia wajue ya kwamba tumeingia katika ule wakati Kwa maana kuzika ni kurudisha mwili katika mafumbi Na hapa ndipo kila mmoja anastahili ajue alikuwa kwa manzishi Na kwa sababu ini kazi Mungu ametupatia na tuko nacho kikundi cha wachungaji wale ambao tumekuja na wao na Mungu umeenda nitaita tu mmoja ambaye ni Reverend Mutinda Daktari tuko na yeye atakuwa anatuongoza na hii baada kwa maana hii ndio baada ya muhimu sana ukiulizwa kama ulikuwa manzishi unaulizwa kama ulifika mpaka mahali ya nyumba ya aliyetuacha. Kwa hivyo nataka nimkaribishe daktari ah uh, Reverend karibu sana ili ukapate kutuongoza. Bishop kwa wakati ambao tumefika nikipeta kusema kwamba familia ya Alice tunaeni sana sababu naachwa na mmoja wenu ambaye alikuwa mnampenda sana. Ningependa nisome andiko ambalo liko katika kitabu cha Psalms 34. I'll read verse number 18. And then tutakuja kuomba. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as our kindred spirit nikependa niseme kwamba familia bwana wa alis baba yako watoto wako na wote ambao wanahusika karibu sana na maisha ya huyu alis ambaye ametuacha the lord is going to be with you The Lord is going to show you the way to follow from this moment of time. Msikubali kwamba maisha yanaisha leo. Maisha bado yako na kwa sababu Mungu ndiye alitupea halis atatupea ile njia tutafuata kuanzia siku ya leo. Nisome andiko lingine then we do the barrio Katika kitabu cha Genesis chapter 3 I'll read verses number 17 to verse number 19 Kubalieni nisome kwa lugha ya Kiingereza Sababu ndio niko nayo Then then The Bible says because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you saying you shall not eat of it cast is the ground for your sake in toil you shall eat of it in toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field in the sweat of your face you shall eat you shall eat bread till you return to the ground for out of it you are taken for dust you are and to the dust 
you show the time. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you this afternoon for this opportunity which you have given us to us to mourn with the people that have been left with by their beloved daughter, beloved wife. And in particular, Lord, I want to commit Ali's husband to you. I want to commit our children to you, dear Lord. Father, the Bible says we shall hear a voice saying this is the way, walk in it. I want to pray that your voice is going to be heard by these people. A Lord God of glory, you are going to save their lives. You are going to give them hope. And in their hearts, Lord, they will be having lots of peace that comes beyond human understanding. Today, according to your word, we are laying the body of Halis unto this grave in accordance to your word. And I want to pray, King of glory, that you are going to protect this grave till the time you shall do a resurrection of the life of this wonderful lady that you have taken for the purposes of coming to you in the eternity that you prepared for everyone. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Baliana na maum maumbi yote ambayo Bishop aliubiri. Naomba kwamba maumbi yao yao katika roho yako yangu. And we think of our tomorrow because our tomorrow is going to be dependent on what we do today. Kuna wemo tunaweza imba? Chaku tumaini sina Ila damu yake yesu Sina wema wakutosha Ami zangu kuziosha Wake yesu na simama Nye mwamba ni salama Iye mwamba ni salama Iye mwamba ni salama Wake Yesu na simama Iye mwamba ni salama Iye mwamba ni salama Iye mwamba ni salama Kamiki hitwa hukumuni Rohoni nina amani, niki vikwa haki yake, sina hofu mbele zake. Otu ke etwa okomone, rohoni nina amani, tuki vikwa haki yake. Ina hofu mbele zake Oh kwa ke yesu na simama Nye mwamba ni salama Nye mwamba ni salama Nye mwamba ni salama Reverend Abba Nye huni pa wako Awe mi akini pika Gugu za kemiso na mga Wake yesu na si mamba Nye mwamba ni salama Nye mwamba ni salama Nye mwamba ni salama Tupate kuomba pamoja Awandia ethni fava we thank you this day for the Bible has said that our life has a beginning and has an ending here on earth. 
and we thank you today as we stand at this grave site to witness the ending of the life of our sister Alice. Lord, we thank you for the life that she has lived. We thank you for the husband. We thank you for the children you've given her to bring on this earth. And Lord, today we are praying, O oh God, in this place that the peace of God will cover the family in the name of Jesus. We make a separation today between the spirits of the dead and those who are living. In the name of Jesus, we forbid today that no spirit of impersonation will get out of this grave to go and out the children or the brothers or the sisters or anybody in this home. Lord, today we commit Alice to the hands of our maker. And Lord, we cover this place with the precious and the mighty blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Blessed and be your name, Lord, today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To the what were familiar to Tukwe, Changa, Tvalali, the husband, the father, Wote, to Karibiyapa. Tungaji, Watungaji, Wote, Pia, Tukwe. Ningependa nitawambia wakati tutaweka mchanga. Father, in accordance to your word, we are dust, and into the dust we shall come. We pray in Jesus' name that as we lay the body of Halis, Halis may rest in your hands till you come and pick her once again. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To welcome to The Lord Sasa, Kazi Aweka, Kuweka Mchanga, Kinaweza Kuendele. Kila Mutu, Akawuru, Kuweka Mchanga. What bless you. Thank 
sinjaomba maombi ya kumalizia niite wale wachunganji wale wako karibu hapa kwa maana tuko na msalaba na ninataka wakati kanisa inaweka msalaba inakuwa imeidhinisha ya kwamba ibada inafika mwisho ili wale wengine wako na maua kuna watu wako na maua na kwanza kama tunaweza letewa maua ya kanisa kwa maana ninajua kuna maua ya kanisa tutawekelea tutapanda msalaba alafu nitaomba 
sasa MC ndi atakuwa na waelekeza wengine vile wanaweka maua tukimalizia lakini kanisa inapowekelea maua na tupande msalaba ninajea kwamba tuna kuwa tumeraba stamp ile ibada tumefanya kutoka kule mpaka hapa ya kwamba Mungu ametuandalia na tumeipeleka vizuri na kabla tutafanya hivyo naomba tuombe kinyamaze tuombe tafadhali tafadhali tunaomba kwa heshima ya dada wetu tuamini na tuombe baba wa mbinguni ninasema ni asante umetupeleka vizuri tulianza hii safari asubuhi na tunaimalizia saa hii kama mtumishi wako na wale watumishi wengine ambao tumeshikana pamoja na wao ninatangaza ibada ile imefanyika mali hapa hakuna shetani anaruhusiwa kufanya ibada nyingine na leo tunakwenda kudhibitisha hiyo kwa kuweka maua na kuweka msalaba kuonyesha nafsi ya dada yetu imeenda kwako Jehova ninawabariki wale ambao wamebaki nabariki mzee na watoto nabariki watu wote wa karibu Mungu wa mbinguni kuanzia saa hii neema yako inayopita akili ya mwanadamu iwe juu ya maisha yao tunapokamilisha bwana naomba ukazidi na ukaendelee kuwa pamoja nasi na ni kwa jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu sote tuseme amen naomba tuletewe mawe ya kanisa na yule ako na msalaba atakaribia So George Mawe ya ya mzee George Kadala Baada hiyo maua tutapata maua eh. Thank you Yes good once again Lennox Lennox Oh, kidogo. Oh, sawa. Mabron, mlete karibu. Aya, cameraman, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. George, waka tu. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Parents from both sides. Asante, Asante, Asante. Aya. Wazazi wote. Wazazi pande zote mbili. Kama wako karibu tu ni sawa. Watawakilishwa na mzee mjogo. Aya, ready? Asante. Asante. Hii ingine kuna maua ziko pale ni zipi? Nipate. Brothers and sisters, kabla hiyo mawe ingine brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Tutachukua tu hii ceremonial and then we just place it back. Brothers and sisters, karibu wagi. Thank you so much. Marafiki wale ambao watu wamekuja kuna maua pia hapa kila mtu atapata nafasi so ceremony haya thank you so much ehe mando brada pia wako kama wote uko sawa uko sawa 
pasta kuning ini. Eh. Mingine. Haya. Tafadhali. Karoti girls from 4B. Watu ya Mirema. Watu ya Nairobi. Watu ya hapa, watu ya Kambani, kila mtu atapata ua moja. Ya baba yetu Alice. Marafiki, don't shy away. Kila mtu atapata ua moja moja. Yes. Tafadhali kukuta ulipo. Feel free kuja hapa. Ua lako. Mungu, kia zidi kusema God above all Karoti girls walienda? Muko? From 4B Miriama Muko wapi? Thank you so much Thank you so much, asanteni sana Asanteni Haya, ninge mwalika tu vile vile pia Sujika mameenda mchungaji ya ombe chakula vile mlikumbusha tu bado tutarudi kule chini ili tuweza kuwa kumalizia tumeni kwa ajili ya chakula tunakushukuru jehova Mungu ishie milele kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zako jehova tunaenda kuchukua chakula tunakibarikisha mkononi mwako ili bwana ukakibariki katika mili yetu bariki wapishi bariki kila mmoja wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini the grace wachungaji mnaomba pia nyinyi tutaonke pale chini at the main house na senior citizens na wazazi wa pande zote eh kubwa kwa rekru tunyi msiamba kwa hivyo tuko pamoja kaili sisi wote naomba tutaonke pale tumetoka na fahamisho chakula ni kingi sana mkiondoka kwa hii boma mkiwache haitakuwa vizuri na vile tumesikia ali salikuwa mkarimu gigia kwa nyumba yake lazima ungapata kitu pia leo lazima upate kitu thank you Which one? Negra, Negra, and the heart.